Hey everybody, it's Ron Henry Satu's I show you how to make Persian Kufta Tabrizi. Let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so we're going to start with half a cup of yellow slip peas. I'm going to top this up with two cups of water. And we're just going to turn our heat on. We'll add just a pinch of salt. And we just want to cook this on a low heat for about 30 minutes until they're nice and tender. Now you don't need to cover it. So while we're waiting, just into a small pot, we're going to add one cup of rice. I'm just using short grain rice for this. To this we'll add half a cup of bulgur. And we'll top this up with one cup of water. And we'll just turn the heat on that as well. And all we want to do is cook this until everything is absorbed. Now we don't want the rice to be overcooked, we want it to be about 70-80%, to 80%. that's why I'm not adding too much water. So just cook on a low heat. Alright guys, so after about 10 minutes, as you can see, all the liquid has evaporated, which is what we want. And it's pretty much, say, 60-70% to 70 cooked, which is also what we want. So we're going to turn the heat off at this stage, and just let that rest there. Alright guys, so we're just at the 30 minute mark here, as you can see, most of our water has evaporated. And our split peas are nice and tender now. So what we're going to do is turn the heat off. And we're going to go ahead and drain this. Alright guys, so moving on, just into a food processor, I'm going to add one whole onion, which I've just chopped up. And I'm just using a brown onion. To this we'll add our cooked split peas. And we'll also add in our cooked rice and bulgur. Now you may need to do this in two batches if your food processor isn't big enough. So lid on, I'm just going to process this on a high speed. Okay, so you end up with a nice paste like that, which is what we want. Alright guys, so just into a bowl here, I've got one and a half kilos of lamb mince. Now you can do this recipe with beef mince if you prefer, that's up to you, or you can do half-half. So the first thing we're going to do is add our processed mixture straight in. And I'm also going to crack in one whole egg. And all we're going to do is just mix this all together and get it well combined. Now if you find that it's not sticking well, you can add an extra egg. Okay, so that's looking well. So we'll stop by seasoning this now. So we'll start with about a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground turmeric, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and about one tablespoon of saffron water. And we'll just mix this through again, but this time we want to get a very well mixed. So take your time. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. So at this point we're just going to cover this with some cling wrap, put it back into the fridge, leave it in the fridge for about a couple of hours just to let all those flavours develop. I'd say at least two hours and then we'll come back and move on. Alright guys, so next I'm just going to hard boil three eggs. So that's pretty self-explanatory, I don't think you need me to show you how to do that. So guys, while we're waiting for our eggs, what I'm going to do is make our actual filling. So I've just got a handful of apricots here, dried apricots of course. So what we're going to do is just quarter these so they're small pieces like that. So we'll just add that straight into a bowl. Next we'll bring across about a handful of walnuts. And we just want to coarsely chop these. Not too fine, you don't want it like a powdery consistency. Just a rough chop is perfect. Just like that, and we'll add that to the bowl as well. And finally I'll add just a handful of cranberries. Now you can use barberries if you prefer. So let's just mix that together. And that's looking good. Alright guys, so next we'll just bring across one large brown onion, slice through the middle. And what we want to do is just slice this. Not too thin, not too thick. So guys, just into a pot on a medium heat, we'll add about 2-3 to three tablespoons of oil. And we'll add in our sliced onion. And we just want to fry these on a medium heat. 
Once the onion starts to brown and soften, we'll add in half a teaspoon of ground turmeric, a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground coriander, a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. We'll just mix that through. At this point, we'll add one decent tablespoon of tomato paste. And we're just going to keep cooking that through. So, guys, to this, we'll add about four cups of cold water, one tablespoon of saffron water, and we'll add in one tablespoon of butter. And we just want to mix all that through. Alright guys, so that's our sauce component ready, so we're going to turn the heat off on that now. And we can drain our eggs at this point as they're hard boiled now. Alright guys, so moving on, I've just peeled our eggs that we've boiled. And all we're going to do is just roughly chop these as well. Just like so. And we'll add this into our bowl with the rest of our stuff as well. Now I should also point out, you can add whatever you want, or you can take out whatever you want. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. Alright guys, so our mixture's ready. So I've brought our mince back out that we made before. So what we're going to do with this is divide it into separate portions. Now, we want to get them fairly big. So, around that size, sort of like that size of an apple or an orange. And just in our hands like that, we want to roll it and get it nice and smooth. The smoother we get it, the easier this is going to be. And then you just sort of want to make an indent in the middle. And you can use your palm to sort of make a bowl. Just like that. Now don't go too thin. And we're going to get some of our mixture and just place it in the center like that. And then all we're going to do is close it up. Make sure it's smooth. And we want to cover the seam, just so it's smooth all over like that. And guys, that's all there is to it. So once you've done that, we're going to place this straight into our sauce pot. And we'll just continue now. Now if you find that the mince is sticking to your fingers, just have a bowl of warm water next to you. That will just prevent that and assist you big time. Alright guys, so that's all of our kuftas in here now. I've just turned the heat back on and we just want to bring this up to the boil. Now pay attention to how high the water is. It should cover at least half of all of them. In my case it's half to three quarters, which is just fine. Alright guys, so once you've got a boil going, we're going to put the lid on and we're going to turn the heat down to low to medium and we're going to simmer these for about an hour. Alright guys, so I'm just at the one hour mark now. As you can see, our sauce is thickened up nicely. Our kufta's cooked all the way through. So let's go ahead and serve. Alright, and we'll finish it off with some sauce as well. And we'll top it up with some fresh mint. And that just looks beautiful. So I guess you guys would want to see what it looks like on the inside too. And just look at that. Perfectly cooked on the inside. And you get a beautiful surprise when you cut into it like so. So guys, that's all there is to it. So obviously variation wise, there's a lot of different things you can stuff into it. But the actual method is pretty much the same. I hope you like that guys, please like, share and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram. If you've got any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.